Sometimes an issue is defined too broadly and needs to be broken down into its component tasks. In this case, there is a feature which we call officially task list or unofficially checkboxes, which we can use any time that we want to track parts of a particular problem that need to be solved. For example, this first issue that I created was actually maybe broader than what it needed to be. As a solution, we can create checkboxes, and we can do that in a comment further down on the list, but I actually like to put the checkboxes in the first comment since that's the first thing you see when you go to the issue. So I'm going to go back here and add some text to the original comment. The way that you make a checkbox appear is to put a dash, just as if you were doing a bulleted item, but then an open and closed square bracket with a space in between and a space afterwards, and then you put the text that you want. If I preview this, I can see that it's a checkbox that I can actually click on to cross it out. In this particular case, I have already created some separate issues that I would like to use to track these components of my broader issue. And they're numbered 3, 4, and 5. So if I return back to this issue and start to edit it again, instead of typing out the text, I can say dash, square bracket, square bracket, and then pound sign and select issue number two. Now if I preview that, it will substitute the title of the issue for the text. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now you'll notice that when I hit enter, it knew that I was doing checkboxes. So all I have to do is say number three and number four. And now update the comment. This will now show me the description of each of these tasks and create a link to the issue if there is one. I can also mouse over them and see at least part of the initial description, how they are tagged, and who those issues are assigned to. I see that actually I made a mistake and included the issue number two, so let me delete this. and instead add issue number five, which is the correct one. After I've created these issues, at the top you can see that there are three tasks associated with this. And if you go to the list of issues itself, it shows that this is composed of subtasks. Once I complete some of these tasks, if I check this off, now there's a progress circle shown up here that also shows up in the overall description where I can see that two out of the three tasks have been completed. If I actually go to the issue and close it, I can go back to the original thing and the status of the issue is shown as completed or closed in addition to the checkbox. So this is a good way for you to know basically how you're proceeding on a more complicated issue and also how to break those issues down into smaller issues if it turns out that initially your issue was too broad.